Our top story at this hour focuses on the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. Earlier today, it released the Economic Development in Africa report, where it essentially makes the case for how African economies can become big participants in global supply chains. Speaking to CGTN's Najma Abdurizak, the UNCTAD Secretary General, Rebecca Grinspan, said this is the continent's moment to strengthen its emerging industries, foster economic growth, and more importantly, create jobs for millions in a continent with a median age is about 19. Thank you so much, Madam Secretary General, for speaking with us today. My first question, let's first begin by establishing what we're talking about here. What do you exactly mean by technological intensive uh, supply chains? What are we speaking about here? Well, the first thing is that uh, we know that there is a dynamic transformation that is happening in front of us, yes, of the global economy and the production in the whole world. We say now Africa is very well placed to take advantage of this transformation because of three things. One, because you have the minerals. <laughs> you have the raw materials for these transformations to be viable. Second, because the renewable energy transformation is huge and will be able to bring a lot of investment if we do what we have to do and allow Africa to go a, a, you know, up in the ladder of value addition. Like a higher trajectory. Exactly. And third, because of your demographic. You are a young continent. You know, you have the young people, the knowledge, the drive for the new technology, the innovation spirit and, and capacity. Well, delving a bit further into this report, um, we get to see that some of those sectors that you mentioned from pharmaceutical energy, mining particularly, set to have a higher leverage to capture this potential. Yeah. What exactly makes these sectors so attractive? Well, first of all, because without those minerals, there is no transformation. <laughs> <laughs> there is no possibility for, for the renewable global value chains. So really the decision is not if you are needed, because you are needed. You needed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because the raw materials are here. Yes, the question is if you will take advantage of that. I think that is a question for the policymakers. Well, Honestly. yes, it's true, it's true. It's a question for the policymakers, but it's also a question for the private sector, and it's also a question for the young people, yes, that wants to see better employment opportunities to be available for Africa, and not only extractive or raw materials to be exported. What do you reckon uh, uh, countries on the continent need to do or what policies do you recommend need to be put in place if countries on the continent were to say okay we are tired of being impacted every time there are global shocks what can we do to optimize the potential we have within our continent and fully utilize it yeah very important i think that there are human capital policies uh, you have to invest in uh, the human capital that is needed for this transformation we all need, and I, I talk also about my country, you know, we need more engineers, yes, we need more AI people, we need more digital uh, 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 people. So that is a very important part of what we need to do. The second thing is that we need policies that are stable, that don't change. Does, does that include diversification as well? Yes, that includes di diversification of the productive structure. Yes, because uh, that is what will give you the broad-based economy for what you want to do. But uh, you need policies for that to happen. You need policies that will incentivize, for example, the financing in the value chain. The small and medium enterprises have to have the access to financing to be able to enter the value chains. And financing is a very important part of this package. And you need digitalization. And uh, many of the countries uh, in the continent are having a digital strategy that is important for e-governments, for e-commerce, uh, to facilitate transactions. Because uh, in this continent, transaction costs are very high. Very high, yeah. So that is one of the things that you have to take down. is logistics, is infrastructure, and is also policies. And for that, you need convergence at the continental level. 
Yes, you yeah. need integration. Yeah. So you need policies at the national level, but you need policies at the continental why, level. Why do you think it's been such a big challenge? Oh, you know, I come from Latin America. Believe me, you know, integration is not easy for anybody. Also, you know, even the European Union that is, you know, like the example <laughs> in the world took many decades to really bring to this moment. So you need to really outgrow the urge for the short term. <laughs> because I, I said today, you know, we tend to forget that the short and the long term start at the same time.